Yo, 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 what is going on, friendly friends out here today? And I'm sorry about the day, anyways, that I've been missing out and some Call of Duty. But since it's already too late, it's already 8 o'clock, 8.03 o'clock in the night already. See, it's already dark time and all that. Don't mind the end connection. If you guys can hear the end connection, don't mind about it. I just put it on like, like 25 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. That's my fan. And I'm getting everything ready for it to shut down. So, anyways, before I shut everything down, as you see, the new PlayStation update, what they've been doing. It's freaking awesome. It's freaking good. The new update PlayStation 4 they did, it's freaking awesome. So look at it right here, right now. If you guys have already seen it, it's awesome. If you guys did not update your PlayStation 4, just make sure you go to your, to your PlayStation 4 update and then you'll see it. And it will say like 4.00 to update the PlayStation Network and all that servers. But look at it. Right here. See, all this is brand new. See, never had that. Never had this. And I never seen like that. But now look at a new update. You can also check your friend list and everything. What they're playing. Some live stream. It's everything in here, man. Everything's in here. It's really awesome. And now also too, everything looks different. So if I go to my friends list, that's how it's gonna look. And that's really awesome. So the color changes and the way it is too also. And it's really awesome. And now if I go to my chat party, so if I go right here, the red one, now it's going to ask you to make this a private a conversation with your friends only, which is really awesome. And you can also do the amount of how many players or how many people do you want in your lobby in the chat party actually. So right now I just keep it an eight and also I always do it on private and create and that's it. And now also too to invite friends is really awesome. But right now I'm not inviting no friends or nothing, so I'm gonna leave. And simple as that, this is all my friends list and all that chat party been going on it's a lot of them and yeah and now this is new also too that the color it's really good so yeah a lot of new up what they did to the PlayStation 4 network set and all that and also too guys the beta called of Battlefield 1 it's really awesome but it's already over since it's been over in September 8th so it's been over for a couple days now and if you guys did play the beta, it's really awesome, man. It really good. But if you guys really play the beta, I hope you guys enjoy it. Because the game full game is coming out in October 21st on 2016. So get ready, gamers, to get that Battlefield 1 game. I tried it. I played it. And I also think it's really awesome because I loved it. Even also, I'm a fan of card games. But I am also a fan of Battlefield games because guess what? I also have Battlefield games. So let's see. This is all my games right here. I have Nintendo and all that. So let's see. Here's my two Battlefield games right here. Battlefield 3 and 4, which I have right here. See, these are. They also meant to the PlayStation 3, which my PlayStation 3 is right there. And here's my PS4, which I'm using right now. And yeah. So Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, I played them, both played the campaign, it's really awesome, really, really action all the way too, because these are games like these are real life and also realistic. So any war like this, you think, you guys think Call of Duty is like a real war, which is kind of is and kind of not, but Battlefield and all the hands is way more realistic and way more, way, way more real. So you guys, if you guys are only playing Call of Duty, try out Battlefield, man. Because Battlefield will change everything, and Battlefield will definitely be the different game on Call of Duty games. So, I'm also going to say that Battlefield, it is better than COD games, because it's more realistic in life and all that, what real war is like in real life, because, you know, Armies are protecting us, our countries and cities, United States and all that, really are. But that's their jobs, they get paid and all that stuff. So, 
and Tony help us also too to save our world. Make sure everything's on par, every make sure nothing's taking over the world or nothing like that, which I don't want that to happen. You know, I'm not trying to lose none of these stuff, I just work hard. And I'm still working hard to get more stuff. If you guys can help me and support me. And yeah. So and what do you guys think of the new update? And also if you guys did play the Battlefield 1 beta, enjoy it. And you cannot wait until the game comes out. But if you guys did not play it, please. You guys can go hand gloves. If one of your friends has it, try it out. Or if you want to try it out for just like for fun of it and everything, then just go buy it or something like that. If you don't like it, just return it. Simple as that. And that's it. But I think this game is really awesome. This is right now one of the best battlefields I say right now. And since it's coming out Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4 Model Model Warfare Remastered, it's really going to be good. All these three games together are being good. Really awesome and really good. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And this is why I'm, well, this is what I'm going to let you guys know and all that stuff. So if I, sorry about the days, but I missed out by four days and all that. But right now, since today is Tuesday and tomorrow's Wednesday, and let's see what's going on because I've been playing zombies also too. I played zombies today, and guess what? I got to a high round level rounds and all that. I was leveling up. I was doing good. I was really going, really doing good actually, and. Until they went to around 75, and I don't know where when I did the two gravity spikes, it froze. It absolutely just froze the game, and I was really disappointed. So, and I have no choice to clear out the game, reset it, and all that. Right after that, once I re cleared the game up, I went back on it, and then after that, once I went to let it load and all that stuff, uh, a couple seconds. And then I went into zombies, and guess what? My liquid enemies were safe, but my round was not safe at all. I was in round 75. I could have made it to 100 or something around there today. But, fortunately I didn't, because this glitch, actually no, this freezing just happened. So, this is really, really disappointing. But I'll try tomorrow anyways. So we'll see and everything if I can pass that round and also hopefully it does not freeze or an arrow or nothing like that or probably doesn't go, go out. So hopefully yeah, I'll get to a higher round. Well anyways guys, this is Hector Destroyers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that thumbs like button up and also comment below section and subscribe. And I'm going to be out and shut down everything. Peace.